because we're going to be intentional about our growing, okay? Hello everyone, my name is Amaria and welcome to Build Your Faith Podcast. This was specifically curated to let us be open and real about faith, get encouragement, and to help us grow in our relationship with God and community with others who are on the same journey as us. Listen, if faith is like a muscle, welcome to your gym. So what I need you to do is to grab your pen and your paper because you won't want to miss anything being said over here because this is to help you build your faith. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Build Your Faith Podcast. As you know, my name is Amaria and today it's another special episode with two people that you probably recognize. So I'll let them introduce themselves. Go ahead. So my name is Billy. Uh, I'm 22. Um, I'm, a, I'm in, je suis en internship à l'église de la Victoire. Je suis stagiaire en fait à l'église de la Victoire en diffusion médiatique et aussi dans la mission de la parole. And uh, I just love Jesus Christ. And I'm, I'm really blessed to be here with you guys, man. So, up? Okay, awesome. Well, so my name is Jeremiah Ojo. Like I said last time, you know, I'm 22 years old. Uh, I play football. I'm a student athlete. I go to the University of Montreal. I'm a, you know, I'm a man of God. I love Christ. And um, yeah, that's about it. All right. So like I said, you guys probably recognize them from the last episode we did on men being bold in their faith. So this is kind of like a part two. And so we're going to get into a little bit of a different conversation, but very similar at the same time. I wanted to go a little bit deeper than the last time. So this time we're going to talk about m- emotions, basically, and, and how men deal with emotions God's way. So there was a particular verse that kind of stood out to me. It's taken from Matthew 17, verses 16 to 18. Um, I thought it was fitting to highlight this verse before we talk. So the verse says, And I brought him to your disciples, and they were not able to heal him. And Jesus answered, you unbelieving and perverted generation how long shall I be with you how long shall I put up with you bring him here to me Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him and the boy was healed at once so basically one of the reasons why I chose I thought this was a fitting scripture it's because the point of today's conversation is for healing so I know maybe you watched last like episode and you're like okay great we're talking about vulnerability we're talking about being bold but this time like how do I I go about living a life for God, but dealing with the things that I deal with in my day-to-day life. So to be, it's, first of all, we need to be healed, but I noticed that still we're healed. A lot of times we still don't know how to navigate emotions or navigate like how to express them or communicate and things like that. So I thought it was important to talk about it, especially for men, because I feel like there's spaces for women, but not necessarily for men to deal with that or talk about that. So let's get into the first question. So it says, do you think that men of this generation are under spiritual attack? That's a good question. That's a good question. So you say men under spiritual attack. I feel like whether you're man, woman, or a child, or whatever, I feel like everybody can be under spiritual attack, right? Because we live in this world, we live in mm-hmm. our flesh, we live in a sinful, like our flesh is, is sinful, or whatever. So we always, there's always going to be attacks coming our way, right? So whether man, woman, or child, you know, mm-hmm. I feel like whatever those attacks are, because everybody is going to get, is going to go through some type of form of attacks, whether it's spiritual, whether it's you know, what, what however it is, mental, whatever it is, you're going to go through some type of attack. And I feel like what the key is is how you're gonna, how you're gonna. Um, the counterattack, these attacks, right? And mm-hmm. all of that is based on your faith in Christ. All of that is based on the on the on the sword of yeah. the spirit, which is the word of God. Mm-hmm. Are you truly founded in the word? Are you truly rooted in the word of God? If you're rooted in the word of God, everybody's gonna everybody's gonna go through attacks, right? But if you're rooted in the word of God, if your foundation is built on Christ, if, he, if he's your rock and you're and you're built on Christ, mm-hmm. then when these attacks come your way, you're gonna know how to counter these attacks, right? You're gonna be like if these attacks come your way, if you go through a storm, you go through a to a tempest or whatever, you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be solid. You're not gonna be shaky because because Christ is your is Christ is your foundation, right? And one mm-hmm. thing as well, since we're talking about spiritual attacks, some like a, a verse we like to often say, right, is no weapon that's formed, forged against it shall prosper. Mm-hmm. Every tongue that rises up against it, thou shalt condemn. You know what I'm saying? But one thing that I feel like we forget about this verse at the end, it says, and this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, right? Mm-hmm. So no weapon these what no weapon forged against you. No weapon that's forged against shall prosper only if you are a servant of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And what does the Bible say about serving the Lord? That you cannot serve two masters. You mm-hmm. cannot serve the world. You cannot yeah. serve you cannot serve God and man. And you cannot be one foot in, one foot out, one foot out. Mm-hmm. If you're one foot in, one foot out, if you're serving God and you're serving man, 
then this your heritage is not going to be that well, no weapons forged against you shall prosper. The weapons are going to forge against you, and they're going to prosper because you're serving two masters. Mm. Now, if you want to be if you want to be victorious, because the victory belongs to Jesus Christ, right? You got to be a servant of the Lord, which means you got to serve God. Which means you got to serve God. You got to serve God alone. Lord, the Lord has to be your Lord, the Lord of your life. If that is the case, then these weapons are, forged, are going to forge against you, but they're not going to prosper. And so I feel like. Anybody could go through spiritual attack, like men, women. I mean, yes, it could be different types of spiritual attacks. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I feel like the key is how are you going to counter these spiritual attacks? How are you going to bear, suffer these spiritual attacks? Are, is your foundation in Christ? And now, if, if your foundation is Christ, is the Lord your master, then you'll be able to counter attack with the sword, the spirit, you know, with the armor of God, and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's yeah. a good answer. I'm totally in accord with what Jermaine has said. Um, I really think that men are under spiritual attack. Mm -hmm. um, why? They don't have Jesus. <laughs> uh, when you don't have Jesus, of course, it it's going to be impossible for you to overcome the devil because we cannot overcome the devil by the devil. Mm. We need another source, and that source is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, and He paid the, uh, the price for us at the cross, and He gave us our, the authority to cast our demon and to to really be overcomers and to be victorious Christian in that life. So. Yeah, most definitely uh, men are uh, under spiritual attack because they don't have Jesus. Okay. Mm so <laughs> also with the verse that I just read, something that came back to mind that I wanted to mention before is that I thought it was interesting that in the verse, it, they're saying, Jesus is saying basically bring, the, the, bring him to me, but he's saying bring the boy to me. But it was actually a man that he was speaking to. So I thought it was interesting because he was speaking to the inner boy of that man. Mm. And so what that makes me think is that a lot of people, whether it's men or women really, they a lot of people haven't healed from the traumas that they've dealt with when they were a child. Mm. So a lot of people still have a lot of inner, uh, like their inner child still needs to heal from past traumas, whether it's daddy issues or you know problems that they face. So I believe the reason why the enemy has attacked a lot of men or women, but both genders, but since we're talking about men, I'll say men, it's because just Emma, like they've been under attack since they were young. Mm -hmm. And how, how much that's highlighted is because take away the father from the home, it seems like it affects men more than it affects women. Mm -hmm. that, not that it doesn't affect women, it does, but I feel like it affects men more than it affects women. And that there's a purpose behind that, there's a reason behind that. So I thought it was like really interesting to, to highlight, you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you guys wanted to add to that. Not really, but I didn't know that the boy was actually a man. He yeah. is, for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. So uh, it's definitely interesting. All right. So the next question is, do you think that the that this society takes men's emotions seriously and is being emotional a bad thing? I, I, think, <laughs> I think that men... Um, um, I think that the society... Pas que la société ne s'en prend en considération, mais je pense que vraiment les les hommes en fait ne s'expriment pas assez. Mm. Attends, c'est ça la différence. Je pense que les hommes ne s'expriment pas assez euh, par rapport à les émotions. Je pense que les hommes ne sont pas assez vulnérables avec eux-mêmes. Mm. Tu vois. Et souvent, ce qui se passe, c'est que dans la société, euh, la société, il porterait une image de l'homme qui est, qui est général, mais souvent, euh, when you go in depth into a man, quand tu quand on parle à des gars, dans, bah, par rapport à mon entourage, quand je parle à des gars uh, as a Christian man, on voit vraiment que la société a vraiment portrait portrait l'image de l'homme de mauvaise manière mm -hmm. et uh, ça n'a jamais permis à l'homme vraiment de de, de s'exprimer qui qui il est parce qu'il y a beaucoup d'hommes qui, qui ne sont pas du tout comme la société. Mm -hmm. okay. La plupart des gens que je connais qui sont dans vraiment qui sont dans mon entourage, they are not like <coughs> de, de, ils sont pas comme la société le portrait là, ils sont vraiment pas comme ça. Mm -hmm. you know? Il y a des hommes, la société va tout te dire, man can, cannot cry. Right. But I know plenty of men that cry a lot behind the scene. Okay. You know what I'm saying? La société va te dire, uh, uh, l'homme, uh, il est insensible. Mais il y a beaucoup d'hommes. Je connais plus d'hommes que de femmes qui sont sensibles. A lot of men are sens sensitive. Mm. Et, et, et les gens seront surpris, les gens seront surpris, mais beaucoup d'hommes sont très sensibles. Mais c'est juste que la société veut, veut mettre une image de cet homme. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Alpha <laughs> male, yo. But yeah. uh, vraiment bien du signe, vraiment de, de la, a lot of men that I know, they're really sensitive, juste qu'ils ne le montrent pas, le montrent pas au monde. C'est vraiment bien de close door, you will see, you will get to know the man and you will see that that man is, is, is just another man. Okay, so are you saying that like society paints a negative image about men specifically? Uh, parfois oui, parfois oui, pas dans tous les cas. Okay. But il um, y a certains cas de, de l'homme, certains aspects de l'homme qui je trouve qu'ils porteraient mal de l'homme. Mm, you know, okay. Des fois, c'est trop universel, c'est pas assez spécifique. 
Mm. C'est comment je vais dire. C'est yeah. juste, c'est vraiment juste général, but. Okay, yeah. so it's kind of like saying, like you know how women say men are trash. Mm. Like that generalization makes people think yo, all men are trash. That's what you're saying. Like okay, no, men are not no, all trash. So. Not tr- there's, there's plenty of good guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't want to good guys right here, man. No, man, for real. Well, clearly. La société veut faire en sorte que littéralement, surtout chez les hommes, they want to make all men. Uh, il, veut, il veut faire en sorte que les hommes deviennent des F-boys. Mm. Oui, que les hommes deviennent des F-boys, que les hommes soient des hommes qui peuvent guettre plusieurs femmes. You know? mm. Et même plusieurs hommes enseignent beaucoup de hommes à « how to get a woman »,« how to get into her mind mm-hmm. ». You know et, yeah. et beaucoup d'hommes sont influencés par ça, tu vois, qui fait en sorte que l'homme fait beaucoup d'erreurs avec les femmes. Qui mm. que, voilà pourquoi il y a beaucoup de femmes qui ne croient plus à l'amour, il y a beaucoup de femmes qui ne croient plus chez les bons gars. « They take uh, good guys are simp <laughs> ». Don't get me started. Think, yes, I'll talk straight up. <laughs> Don't get me started. Okay. He thinks that the good guys are simp. He thinks that the good guys are soft. He thinks that the good guys they don't know, they don't they don't know how to be a leader. Mm. And and they have put the image of the uh, guy alpha. But in a way toxic. Because the guy alpha is the one who plays with all kinds of women. And he's the one who should be. That's the man. That's the yeah. real man right here. But that's not true. That's, how, that's not how Jesus Christ wanted the man to be. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. And being emotional, being emotional is a bad thing for me. Why? Why? Because when you're emotional, um, it's, a, it's a proof that you like self-control. Mm. Especially as a man. You know, it's to, en, en tant que homme, um, tu dois, on doit apprendre à être, euh, vraiment à être, to have self-control. Why? Because we are the leaders. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We need to have self-control. Yes, il y a des choses qui peuvent nous toucher, c'est vrai, but we need to be, uh, to have self-control to cont- pour contrôler ces émotions-là. Tu vois, mm. parce que je connais beaucoup d'hommes qui sont emotional and the, and, et à cause de cette euh, réaction émotionnelle, ils font plein d'erreurs. Mm. Le gars, ok, tu peux lui dire quelque chose, mais le gars, qui, le gars tu peux lui dire quelque chose et tu vas voir que le gars qui est émotionnel, ça a qu'il te frappe. That's mais right. il n'a jamais voulu le faire, hein? Yeah. Il n'a jamais voulu le faire, mais à cause qu'il est émotionnel, il va te frapper. Ça se peut même qu'il te dise une parole que t'as pas voulu, que t'as, qu'il n'aura pas voulu dire. Non. Ce sera vraiment c'est un lack of self control. So, je pense que it's a bad thing to be emotional in a certain way. Yeah. I mean, before you, before you go, Jeremiah, like that that part about emotions is so true because um, so often we kind of say, well, this is how I feel, so this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. But you know, we need to not let our emotions like guide us. Mm-hmm. Because if we do, like you said, like if you're emotional and you're angry, you're just going to slap people. Yeah. If you're emotional and you're, and, you're, and you're in love, you might be so in love that you're them slipping up and falling into temptation. So when we allow our emotions, yes, we may feel, have feelings and have emotions, but once we allow those emotions to guide us, mm-hmm. that's when it c- becomes slippery. So just because you feel something doesn't mean you need to allow those feelings to dictate what you need to do next mm-hmm. if not then you know like you said we're gonna do things that are not necessarily things that are right just because you feel it doesn't make it right mm-hmm. so yeah i just i like that point yeah. so yeah go ahead so when it comes to being emotional i say it's okay to be emotional as long as you control your emotions right so mm-hmm. let's say um genre quelqu'un te fait une remarque une reproche somebody rebukes or somebody somebody tells you something and you feel a certain type of way like we cannot there's no way to suppress our feelings right like we're, we're human beings we're gonna have feelings we have emotions right. okay this person told me this it made me angry it made me feel some type mm-hmm. of way now instead of acting out in this anger i guess that's what we call emo- being emotional like i felt this emotion i'm gonna act out in it now nah. mm-hmm. you need to know how to control your emotions you need to know how to acknowledge your emotions and you know how to like okay I feel anger right now. Yeah. I'm not gonna let this anger control me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, genre, je le canaliser quelque part d'autre. Tu comprends? I'm mm-hmm. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna direct it somewhere else. I'm gonna suppress, not suppress this anger. I feel this anger. Okay. Now I'm not gonna let it control me. Okay. Now I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come back with peace. Now I'm mm-hmm. gonna be like, I'm gonna control my anger. Right. Mm, I'm not gonna lash out in my anger. I'm not gonna act out in my anger. I'm gonna come back to myself. And I feel like to be able to control your emotions, you have to be comfortable in your emotions, right? You gotta mm. know, you gotta know how to acknowledge your emotions. If you've never been the type to actually acknowledge your emotions. Mm-hmm. Then you're never gonna know how to control your emotions, right? Because oftentimes, yeah. let's say, let's say, as if, if you start out as a little kid, right, you feel angry, bah, we're gonna a, a temper tantrum, ah, I'm mm-hmm. angry, whatever, and start punching your brother with this and that, whatever. If you're sad, after you're gonna you're gonna start crying, like as soon as we feel an emotion, we're gonna act mm-hmm. it out, right? And if you never address this as you're growing up, you, you're, you're just gonna stay like this until mm-hmm. you grow older and older, and yeah. it's gonna be a pattern that you've never fixed, you never you've never addressed. So yes, it's okay to feel emotions, but you gotta know how to uh, how to acknowledge these emotions and you and how to address them. That way, you can control your emotions and you don't let your emotions control you. Yeah. Now, when it comes to your second question, it was so society. What um, this society. Uh, Wait, does society uh, m- take men's emotions seriously? Um, 
I do not think so. I do not think that society takes men's emotions seriously because, okay. for example, if we talk about women, we I think society takes women's emotions seriously, right? Because we yeah. know women as being you know emotional creatures and this and that, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I would say that women are more emotional, I guess, but men are also. I feel like men could just be as emotional, right? Mm-hmm. But when it right. comes to men, obviously we have this the, the same picture of the macho man, the alpha dog. You got to be alpha a man. Dog. You got to be tough. You, you got you got to tu dois mettre cette carapace. Tu comprends? You got to put on this shell. And all the attacks, you gotta just take. You gotta just gotta take him in without ever, without ever like um, without ever expressing how you feel, right? And I feel like that's how society portrays man. Mm-hmm. So when 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 a man is caught caught up in these emotions, society is gonna be like, okay, now you cannot act on your emotions. You're a man. You gotta stay tough. You gotta stay whoever you is. Yeah. But not like I got emotions, so I got feelings too. I gotta. I want to tell you how I feel. I want to mm-hmm. express how I feel because how society portrays us. We cannot, so nah, I do not feel like society portrays, mm. they, would, they take men's emotions seriously. C'est fou qu'il okay. dit ça parce que c'est prouvé scientifiquement que, scientifiquement que, il y a plus d'hommes qui meurent de suicide que de femmes. Which is crazy because you would not think that you would never society think. doesn't paint those images. Tu vois, il y, y a un gars qui s'appelle Twitch. Yeah. He died. Crazy. He was a man though. It's quand tu vois sur Instagram, he looked happy, you know what I'm saying? But Facts. behind the scene, personne savait qu'est-ce qui se passait. Behind the scene, et c'est ce qui se passe dans la société. There's a lot of men that they are hiding their emotion. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ils le cachent pour eux-mêmes. Et ils souffrent en silence. Il y a beaucoup d'hommes, tu vois. Et l'homme, ok, à cause de, de, de pride, of the ego, il veut toujours mettre cette image-là de I got it, mm-hmm. I got it. Et ça, c'est, c'est dans la nature de l'homme. C'est ce que Dieu a mis dans l'homme, euh, de, de, de prendre les choses en charge. Mais des fois, il y a beaucoup d'hommes que. Euh, You just can't take it anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just can't take it because there's nobody around them that can help them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, Yeah, man. It's no, so, it's, I, I love what Jeremiah said, but... That Twitch thing is crazy. When I saw that, like, it shook me because I'm like, yeah. how? He has everything. Mm-hmm. Like, he had the fame, he had the money. Like, that's so crazy. So, to, the fact that he suffered in silence like that to the point where even his own wife probably didn't know anything. Didn't know. That's so crazy. And that's what I'm saying, like... I never would like to get for anything to get to that point for anybody, but specifically for men, just because like, again, women has more publicly, women have more like safe spaces, Mm -hmm. you know? And so, yeah, just that whole Twitch thing for me was, was super shocking. Mm -hmm. So, and something you said, Jeremiah, before I wanted to backtrack, um, in how did you say this well, basically like about dealing with emotions, it's how it's so important Mm -hmm. because a lot of people because they haven't healed their inner child or you know haven't dealt with the things in their childhood they now don't know how to communicate they now don't know how to express their feelings and then you want to be in a relationship but you don't know how to communicate mm-hmm. you want to be in friendships or have people around you but you don't know how to communicate and then you expect those relationships to thrive but you don't know how to express yourself you don't know how to communicate and then your person wife or if we're talking to the woman fine husband is supposed to just guess what you're thinking all the time just mm-hmm. guess you know you just shut down and then we're just supposed to be like okay well he should shut down mm-hmm. no like men have to men and women but specifically men have to learn to express themselves especially if they expect to be married one day mm-hmm. expect to, uh, expect to have a thriving relationship you know so it's super important to know how to deal with your emotions and communicate those things mm-hmm. so yeah I, lo- I love what she said um what's this pass it's supposed to have both female and men mm-hmm. but a lot of men are emotionally unavailable mm. Emo- being emotionally unavailable euh, souvent, ce qui est, qu'est-ce qui est dans les, dans les, dans les euh, documentaires scientifiques, qu'est-ce qu'ils vont dire dans les, dans les scientifiques C'est qu'on dit souvent que les gens qui sont emotionally unavailable ont été blessés dans le passé. Mm. They, 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 didn't, they didn't know how to receive love and they didn't know how to give love also. Yeah. You know, fait, qu'est-ce qui se passe C'est que quand une femme, mettons, s'approche d'un homme, il voit que, que la femme a de l'intérêt vers l'homme. Souvent, l'homme qui est emotionally unavailable, he doesn't know how to take it. Mm. He does know how to receive it. So, qu'est-ce que l'homme va faire? C'est que il va faire attacher une femme à lui, et tout ne coûte savoir l'homme va s'éloigner. That's what happens all the time because mm-hmm. the man is emotionally unavailable. Et souvent, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Et c'est beaucoup dans la communauté noire, malheureusement. Mais a lot of men they didn't grow up with a father. Yeah. Okay. A lot of black men didn't grow up with a father. <coughs> so, ils ont ils ont jamais vu ils ont jamais vu c'est quoi uh, a healthy family, a healthy mm-hmm. home. So, qu'est-ce qui se passe? C'est que The man, he doesn't know how to react. He doesn't know how to react. He, 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 he,
they're not ready to be in a relationship. But the bad thing is that a lot of women are attracted to that. That's nice. Mm. <laughs> I gotta see it. I, I gotta nice. see it. I gotta see it. A lot of women uh, tend to be attracted to this kind of man, and mm -hmm. after that, they get deceived and they get hard. Uh, ils ont leur cœur brisé. Mm -hmm. tu, vois, tu vois que l'homme n'est pas intéressé à toi. Tu vois que l'homme il est distant avec toi, mais t'es intéressé. Pourquoi? Pourquoi? Parce que les femmes aiment le mystérieux. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they love me. You, women love mysterious guys. Et je dis ça parce que when I was in the world, j'étais le gars, j'étais genre de gars qui était emotionally unavailable, and I was uh, I was not showing any interest to women, and women was even more uh, interest towards me just mm -hmm. because I was acting like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Et beaucoup de femmes doivent comprendre ça que don't follow emotionally unavailable men. F f vraiment, <laughs> I gotta say that because a lot of women they tend to be attracted to potential. Oh, yeah. he got so, so much potential. Get me started. Oh, he got so much potential. But you see que dans son comportement, he's not interested, he's not emotionally available. Mm -hmm. Why do you go to him? Yeah. Miss curiosity. La curiosité. Well, it's not just that. Well, speaking as a woman, not just mm -hmm. that, like, uh, a lot of women believe they could just fix a man. That's the thing. So they're like, you know what? There's potential here. I see it. But let me just <laughs> be Bob the Builder oh, and, you know, try to fix a man. If someone doesn't want to change, they're not going to change for you, babe. Like, that's really it. So, oof, okay. There's a lot in that, but yeah. Puis quand on parle d'émotionnel inévitable, c'est, comme tu as dit, les femmes essaient de, de fixer les mains. Et ça, mm -hmm. je comprends parce que c'est la nature de la femme d'aider l'homme, right? Yeah. But quand il, quand il y a un émotionnel, euh, quand il y a un gars qui est émotionnellement, il n'est pas disponible, c'est à l'homme lui-même de prendre ces décisions-là. Mm. C'est à l'homme de prendre ces décisions-là. C'est lui qui doit prendre les décisions de, OK, I want to change. Yeah. You know, the, I want to change. Mm -hmm. Là, tu vas voir, là, que c'est là que le gars va se préparer pour être émotionnellement disponible. Okay, last thing I'll say about that, though. A lot of times, too, is that though, like you said, men are emotionally unavailable or emotionally illiterate, mm -hmm. um, they still engage in relationships, though. So that's like, both sides are not helping. <laughs> so anyways. One thing about, um, you, uh, one thing you just said, you said the man has to make the decision to become emotionally available. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to make that decision, but it's not a decision that's easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Especially for a man, a man is an adult, mature. Like if, if you're an adult, you're already mature, <coughs> your way of thinking has already been solidified all, the, all throughout these years, right? So nice. what's going to like, it's going to be hard for us to be like, not hard for us, but like hard for the man to be like, okay, I'm going to change now. I'm going to start addressing my emotions. I'm going to try, I'm going to start communicating. I'm going to start doing this and that. So mm -hmm. oftentimes, you know, like you said, these women try to help the man. Like, I'm going to try to help him to be like this and that, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy, you know. It's not easy for the man to change because he has his ego, his pride, all that type of stuff he's carrying with him. Yeah. He's carrying with him. Mm -hmm. But well, that change is, is going to come with time and it has to come, it has to come from a willing place. If that man is not truly willing, mm -hmm. Mm. No change it ever gonna come. It's just gonna create cycles, genera yes. generational cycles. The men, broken men after broken men after broken men, not being able to express <coughs> themselves, and it just continues the pattern. But the, like you said, the man has to be willing. Like, okay, I need to change. I need to stop this. Yeah. Et, et, y a, y a, I love what he said, but souvent, ce il, faut, il faut comprendre que when we have Jesus, Jesus mm. is leading us to that place where we are emotionally, emotionally available. Exactly. You know, he, he lead us to that place of healing. He lead us to that place where we don't have no more pride. He lead us mm -hmm. to that place where we are humble before him and we it can be humble we can be humble before others too to speak about our reality. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So vraiment souvent okay, I know it's not easy for for men to change, but we have Jesus. Mm -hmm. That part. La parole dit que celui qui croit, si tu crois, tu verras la gloire de Dieu. And if we believe, if we follow Christ, if we follow the Holy Spirit, we're going to be changed men. We're going to look like Christ. And Christ was healed. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Actually, another thing, too, I was going to mention, what well, we highlighted specifically for women, though. Um, you mentioned women being attracted to the mysterious, all oh, that stuff. Sure. Another thing, too, is just, well, on both sides, both sides like toxicity. Mm -hmm. And in this generation, like... This is something that like Holy Spirit actually highlighted to me like recently. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just both sides just loves toxicity, like because society just projects toxic relationships all the time. And I would say this, not jacking my cousin, but my cousin literally told me, yeah, like toxic relationships are 
it like i want a toxic yeah. relationship and i'm like girl let's pray because let's pray, let's pray. <laughs> what <laughs> but that's just how a lot of people like think and so when you're projected on social media like toxic relationships you see rappers in toxic relationships and all these celebrities and things that you follow online it's just you think that's normal and you normalize it in your day-to-day life which is why you go after the guy who's emotionally unavailable but you're like yeah. oh well he's a, i see myself with him or yeah. her or whatever so yeah i like what you say do you know why i like what you say is because quand souvent beaucoup de femmes, mm-hmm. when they come to Christ, oui, Jésus Christ a changé leur cœur, but they didn't change their perceptive mm. concerning the, the relationship. Yeah. Faut qu'est-ce qui se passe, c'est que beaucoup de femmes en Christ, ils viennent au Seigneur, ok, they saved, they have, they are filled with the Holy Spirit, but the, the renewal, the, the, le renouvellement de leur, de leur intelligence concernant les relations n'ont pas, pas été changé. transformées. Mm. Ce qui ouais. veut dire qu'ils ont encore les mêmes types de cas après qu'ils ont donné leur vie à Jésus. Et c'est ça, de, c'est ça que le diable veut faire, en fait, c'est un piège. Exactly. Et souvent, on se concentre tellement sur la prière, on se, con, on se concentre tellement sur, OK, um, on other things of the Bible, that we forget to, uh, de changer notre perspective par rapport aux relations et au type de femme que Dieu veut qu'on aille. Mm, facts. Et it's so important, because je me rappelle quand j'ai donné ma vie à Jésus-Christ, I was so attracted to a woman that doesn't know Jesus. Mm. I don't know why. And I was like, Lord, what? I'm a... C'est quelque chose qui n'a pas. <laughs> But Jesus Christ a dû changer ma perspective. And the Holy Spirit led me to read Proverbs 31. Mm. Not Proverbs 31. <laughs> Proverbs. I got it, Sam. I got it. Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31, woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he had to change. Okay, guys, I'm not perfect, bro. I'm not perfect. But that's, c'est, c'est le, maintenant, c'est le, le goût que je veux. Proverbs oh, 31. C'est ça que Dieu m'a guidé. m'a dit, Billy, <coughs> ça là, is the, c'est le modèle pour ta future femme. Proverbs 31. Et j'ai commencé à lire « La beauté est vaine, mais celle qui crée l'éternel, the, uh, the woman that fear the Lord, shall be praised. Mm-hmm. » Elle s'est ok. How, how, comment est la femme de Proverbs 31? How is she? » Et là, okay, j'ai commencé à méditer, méditer. J'ai commencé à renouveler mon intelligence. Mon intelligence et j'ai commencé, tout le coup, ma, mes goûts concernant les, 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 les femmes du monde ont tout complètement changé. Maintenant, je voulais une femme de Dieu qui avait le caractère de Christ. Mm. Amen. So yeah, hey, okay. Proverbs 31 is possible for everybody. Definitely, definitely. And men also we need to be Proverbs 32. <laughs> bye, I'm joking, I'm joking. Bye. Oh my gosh, I cannot. All right, so uh, I don't know if you wanted to add Jeremiah. If you, if you want, you can. Uh, I mean, like you said, it's possible for anybody, for any woman, it's possible to become a Proverbs 31 woman, right? Why? Mm-hmm. Because you got the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that it's the Saint Spirit that transforms from glory to glory in the image of Christ. Amen. It's the Holy Spirit that transforms you, that transforms you from glory to glory into the image of Christ. So if you got the Holy Spirit, you can do it. You can become a Proverbs 31 woman. But mm. you got to submit yourself to the Holy Spirit. You mm. got to make sure you give the Holy Spirit the authority in your yes. life. How and how would you? How can you let the Holy Spirit transform you? You got to spend time with the Holy Spirit in communion with the Holy Spirit. And what do you mean? What, do you, what does that mean? Communion with the Holy Spirit. The same way, la, la même façon que tu parles à Dieu en prière. The same way you talk, you speak to God in prayer. You speak to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. You spend time with the Holy Spirit. Whether it's when you wake up, whether it's before you go to bed, whether we are on the bus right now, whatever the case may be, spend time with the Holy Spirit. Be like Holy Spirit, transform me, change me. I give mm-hmm. you the authority of my life. I want to be. I want to be like Christ. The, that the Bible says that your role is to transform from glory to glory, like Christ. Do your role, Holy Spirit. Et le plus que nous nous soumettons au Saint Esprit, the more we submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit, the more it's going to become easier to be like Christ. Yeah. The more it's going to become easier to show the fruits of the Spirit. The more it's going to become easier to become a Proverbs 31 woman, a true man of God. All of that is done by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm. Now that's really good. All right. Since you mentioned submitting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay. Do you do you think many men are truly and fully submitted to God, and how should a man submit to God? Uh, yeah, and how sh- how does that help with emotions? So, do you think men are truly submitted to God? I feel like to be truly submitted to God, it starts when you gave your life to Christ. Because mm-hmm. when you give your life to Christ, you acknowledge the Lord. You acknowledge God, Jesus Christ, as your Savior, but also as your Lord. What mm-hmm. does that mean? Like, Savior, yes, He came to come and save you, but your Lord, it means He is Lord over your life. It means He rules and reigns over your life. That means mm-hmm. you are submitted to Him. Whatever He says goes. Yes, you got your own plans. You got your own desires, your ambitions, p- uh, personal projects, all that type of stuff. But none of it trumps <laughs> the Lord's will. Why? Because He is the Lord over your life. So when you, you gotta, So if you're not truly submitted to God, 
you got to look back. Okay, when I give my life to Christ, did I truly acknowledge the Lord as, did I truly acknowledge God, Jesus Christ, as my Lord? Do mm-hmm. I, if, okay, maybe I said it with my mouth, I profess it with my mouth, but do I truly believe it in my heart? Is that what I'm living? Do I, mm-hmm. is the Lord, is the Lord truly my Lord? You know, am I truly submitted to him? And if that's not the case, then you got to be like, okay, Lord, forgive me. Now I, I, I truly recognize you as my Lord. Now I want you to have the authority over my life. I want you to be the only one that reigns in my life. You know, la, la Bible dit, um, like the Bible, the Bible says, I think it's in Matthew when when Jesus sang the Lord's Prayer, and in, in, in English it says, um, "Thy our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come." Mais en français ça dit que ton règne ne vienne. You know what I'm saying? Well, basically mm-hmm. in English it means, "May your rule, may your reign come down." So Lord, may you rule and reign over my life. If you let if you let the Lord rule and reign over your life, you'll be submitted to the Lord. Once mm-hmm. you're submitted to the Lord, you'll be able to come to God as a child, right? Like we said last episode, like what Billy said, you come to God as a child, as a child of God. Cause that's that's because Jesus, because God is your Father, right? He's a good Father, and and you're His child. If you come to Him as your child, if you come to Him as a child. It's going to be so much easier to submit because you're in your natural position in relation to God. Man, okay. He said everything. <laughs> C'est quoi la deuxième question? C'est quoi la deuxième question? What's the other question? No, uh, tu avais dit deux comme deux. Oh, yeah. So, do you think men are truly submitted to, truly and fully submitted to God? The other one was, should a man submit to God and how does that help deal with emotions? Uh, par rapport à cet aspect-là, how, did, how does it help with emotion? La parole dit dans Proverbe 3, 5 que. Confie-toi en l'éternel de tout ton cœur. Il en a pla- il a planiré tes sentiers. Tu vois, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. You know, um, je sais pas comment dire. Uh, comment on dit c'est confier? Uh, trust Lord all thy heart, lead not into thy own. Exactement. Tu vois, et when you trust in the Lord with all your heart, you're not afraid to speak about everything. Mm. You know, and to be vraiment to vraiment to be healthy emotionally, I think we need to talk a lot to the Holy Spirit about your emotion. Yeah. You know, especially as men, uh, l'homme doit apprendre vraiment à tout dire, tous les émotions, même les émotions que tu as envers une femme, tu penses beaucoup à la femme. Ah, tu dois dire Holy Spirit. Ah, j'arrête pas de penser à ces femmes-là. Mm-hmm. Et de, 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 de coup, le Holy Spirit va, te, va commencer à te souffler sur dans ton oreille. Go read um, uh, uh, Galates, Galates 5, et talk about the fruit of the Spirit, self-control. Mm-hmm. Commence à le répéter, répéter, répéter. I have self-control to the Holy Spirit. I have self-control to the Holy Spirit. Et tout de coup, oh! You're chilling, you know. Mm-hmm. Et, et quand je parle de cet aspect-là, c'est parce que des fois, euh, euh, puisqu'on n'est pas vulnérable au Saint Esprit, puisqu'on n'est pas vulnérable au Saint Esprit, the Holy Spirit cannot operate mm-hmm. into our hearts. He cannot operate into our emotions, you know. Et le Saint Esprit va seulement venir là où il, là où il est invité. Mm. If you don't invite the Holy Spirit in every aspect of your life, you won't you won't see the glory of God. Mm. You know, if you don't invite the Holy Spirit in your schoolwork, He won't come. Mm. If you don't invite the Holy Spirit, uh, um, he, just here, he will not come. Mm. You know, the Holy Spirit, he's a gentleman. You know, et quand on le laisse vraiment rentrer dans les émotions, c'est là qu'il commence à faire l'œuvre. C'est là que tout le coup, il commence à nous dire la sagesse divine. Mm. Tu vois, la sagesse d'en haut que nous, nous hommes, we don't know. But the Holy Spirit knows everything and he, he is wise. And we just need to let him take control. Yes, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, so do you yeah. think that men struggle with submission? Mm-hmm. And the reason I'm asking is because I feel like whenever mm-hmm. we talk about submission or submit, it's mm-hmm. often thinking about like, you know, wives submit to your husbands or oh. all that stuff. So do you think that men struggle with s- accepting the concept of submission? Uh, I think, yeah. I think it's for both sides. Definitely for both sides. That was for both sides. I gotta say it, bro. I gotta say it. It's definitely for both sides. Definitely for both sides. Okay, but but we're gonna say men's, but yeah, for sure. 100. Because, uh, I mean, you can talk about women too. Go ahead, because I know that's where that's going. It's just, yeah, it's come. I'm curious. But man, for sure, man should go with submission, you know? Yeah. I think submission to God is obedience, mm-hmm. right? So I think, you know, not every Christian man are perfect. Definitely. So definitely, there's certain men that should go with submission. I'm the first one to say it. So, yeah, 100. Okay. Yeah, men definitely do gotta. We we definitely have it hard with submission because it's like we feel like we're so capable. We feel like mm-hmm. we're so competent on our own. We feel like okay, yes, God, you have a plan for me. Yes, God, you 
you got whatever this and that whatever but i also got my own plans i feel like if i yeah. if i if i make this move it's, it's gonna i'm gonna blow up you know yeah. if i feel like if i do if i do this right here if i go this way this route yeah. it's the best route right once again the bible says trust love with all thine heart lead not into thine own understanding like mm-hmm. you said before so you got to submit you got to submit your ideas you got to submit everything to god but i feel like men do struggle with that because yeah. we feel like we're so capable we feel like we're so competent we yeah. never do it that's that's good. There's a there's something that I read recently and it was just saying that how arrogant is it to think that we're able to do life without God? Mm-hmm. And I thought it's so powerful because it's true. We just think that we know better than God mm-hmm. so often and that, you know, if we oh God, like if I do this my way, it's the best way it's going to work. Mm-hmm. Uh forgetting that we serve the creator of our life and he has predestined our life. So just submitting to God is submitting to his will and submitting to his will is allowing him to fully work in our lives Mm -hmm. and to just trust that, you know, his will is better than whatever we would ever think. So it is definitely arrogant to think that, you know, we could do life without God because just someone like you said, like, Mm -hmm. we we can't. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's impossible. And so we definitely need to work. We, I was saying we for one minute as well because I feel like that was coming. (laughs) Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. (laughs) But yeah, definitely both genders definitely need to work. Man, man, man need to work on them. (laughs) (laughs) yeah submission is a whole different conversation though but anyways but yeah Uh, okay uh so i know we talked about self-control a little bit but i wanted to ask what are the dangers of uncontrolled emotions or not being able to have self-control that i think a lot of people forget it's a fruit of the spirit Mm -hmm. so yeah what are the dangers of not being able to control your emotions i'd say let's say for a man if we're talking about men the danger of um an uncontrollable of an uncontrollable man like what you get with a man that cannot control his emotions is a dangerous man because mm-hmm. he is unpredictable. What you get with That's a man it. that cannot control his emotions is an unpredictable man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let me tell him one thing. Like Billy said before, a hey, man is sensitive, yo. I'm telling you, I know plenty of men that are sensitive. They may not show it. You may not realize Dès que tu les dis une affaire là, that rubs them off the wrong way, you shut them down completely. You yeah. shut them down. They, they uh, Like our mind just starts to think, 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 process, process, process. And... Qu'est-ce que je disais encore? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, hey, what, what did I start saying again? Ah, oh, man, I lost my train of thought. What was the question? That's my confused. Got to my. What are the dangers of the Yeah, my fault, my fault. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm so, yeah, what you get with the man that cannot control you? That's because the guy is unpredictable. Exactly. Yeah. I got you, my dog. I got you, my dog. I got you, my dog. Yeah, like the dangers of a man that cannot control his emotions is an mm-hmm. unpredictable man because you may tell him something, he may feel anger, but he's going to last out in his anger. You may tell him something, he's going to feel. He's gonna feel attacked. He's gonna he's gonna close. He's gonna he's gonna shut down. You're not gonna he's gonna be emotionally unavailable now because he's shut down. You know. Yeah. You're gonna tell him something else. Something <laughs> runs the wrong way. Every single emotion that he's feeling, he's gonna act out in it because he's being emotional, right? right. And that's a man that cannot control his emotions. So yeah, it's dangerous. I mean, you get a dangerous man with that. Dangerous man. He said it all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, and to be honest, I was just like he was describing. Oh really? Yeah. I'm telling you, little testimony is it's really in 2022 that God has healed. Yeah. Like recently, like recently. Okay. Well, yes. Ability. Jesus, my, really, Jesus, my, really, he has really healed my heart. Wow. You know, Living because I had, a, I had a lot of hurts because of my, because of my parents, I was extremely <coughs> unpredictable, especially with women. Mm. I was especially unpredictable. And I broke my heart because of that. But Jesus Christ has healed. He made me forgive everybody. Mm. Everybody, everybody, everybody that, that I was holding in my heart. And often, people say, "Oh, healing takes years." It doesn't have to. And this, yeah, that's a fact. He, do, he doesn't have to. I don't. I, I don't believe in that Tell anymore. Him. I don't believe in that anymore because Jesus Christ has paid the, cry, the price two thousand years ago, oh and we are already healed. We just need to follow Him. Mm. Facts. We just need to follow Him and and just humble ourselves and forgive. You know, and a lot of women, I know a lot of women, they want to be restored. A lot of men, they want to be restored. And they're like, okay, I gotta go to therapy. It's good therapy. I, mm-hmm. I love therapy. Glory to Jesus Christ. But do you go to Jesus? Do you that go to part. Jesus to re, uh, to tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, who do I need to forgive? Yeah. And all of a sudden, you will see the Holy Spirit will give you a situation about uh, about your past that you didn't forgive. And boom, the Holy Spirit was, was going to make you tell you, uh, <coughs> va te, va te dire, really forgive that situation. Quand mm-hmm. ta dit ça, quand ton mm-hmm. dit ça, quand telle femme fait telle ça, forgive, let it go. Et je me fais sur la parole de Dieu et je start reading about the love of God aussi. Je start mm-hmm. reading about the love of God. Jésus-Christ a mis son amour à moi. Romains 5, 5. Jésus-Christ euh, euh, m'a donné son amour. 1 Corinthiens 13, 4. Qui m'a donné, il m'a donné toute la capacité pour pardonner 
excuser and see the best in each and everyone. So what did I do? Qu'est-ce que j'ai fait? I forgive everybody. Situation by situation, person by person, I forgive everybody. And I start crying, crying, crying. It's comme si que I felt a, such a strong relief. And all of a sudden, I felt like a new man. That's good. That's what it's supposed I to fe- do. I felt like a new man. So, vraiment, um, I love it. It's possible to be healed. Like, for real. Man, but that's yeah. a good that's a good testimony because yeah. a lot of people think, like you said, it could take mm-hmm. a while, but it doesn't have to, like you doesn't said. Doesn't have to. So, okay, no. since you mentioned like your past, yeah, so, one hundred, one hundred. Okay, um, actually, one of the questions I had was why why is it that a lot of times it's men, mm-hmm. women could do this as well, but are very violent or they have outbursts. Um, mm-hmm. Specifically, I had a god brother that had that he was just very angry mm. um and he lashed out a lot so what, what was the what is the root of that for you and for other men that you think ah it's for sure il y a toujours un root quand tu vois un homme ou une femme qui est violent il y a toujours <coughs> toujours un root et beaucoup de ces roots là vient de frustration mm. mais being misunderstood ou la personne n'a jamais pu s'exprimer mm. you know moi quand j'étais jeune on me, on me battait énormément parce que j'étais un gars qui était très... En haïtien, on, on appelle ça des odes. Des odes, ça veut dire qu'un gars qui était très agité. Okay. Donc, je faisais beaucoup de bêtises. On m'a beaucoup battu. Et ma mère me disait toujours, « Billy, ne pleure pas. Arrête mm-hmm. de pleurer. » Et à cause de ça, j'avais une énorme colère. Et comment j'ai évacué cette colère-là? Ça, it was through basketball. Okay. It was through basketball. Mais quand j'étais joué au basket, « Hey !» La colère était plus sur le basket. Là, c'est devenu sur les gens. Mm. C'est devenu sur les gens parce que je n'étais pas healed from this past traumas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, quand tu vois qu'il y a des gens qui sont violents, qu'il y a des outbursts, is tell that person, how was your past? Mm, yeah. What happened? You know? Comme par exemple, par exemple, une femme qui s'est fait violer quand elle dans sa jeunesse. Souvent, qu'est-ce que les femmes qui sont fait violer dans leur jeunesse vont être très sexualisées dans leur, dans leur, dans leur, dans leur euh, adolescence. So, there's always a root. You know, dernièrement, j'ai vu un, un documentaire d'une fille de 14 ans. She was sexually active, vraiment sexually active at 14 years old. And she, I, I, avait, elle avait plein de problèmes avec ses parents. Et là, OK, le, le gars a, a parlé à la fille, il a dit, why, why are you acting like that? Pourquoi, qu'est-ce qui fait en sorte qu'elle était so sexually active? Et la fille a dit, de 14 ans, elle a dit une confession. I was raped by my uncle. Yeah, exactly. And no, après, qu'est-ce qu'elle, qu'est-ce qu'elle a dit? Elle a dit, Nobody in my family believed me quand j'ai dit que I was raped. Mm. Et c'est ça, que, c'est ça que je parle. There's always a root à un certain comportement. Yeah. And a lot of people don't take the time to ask that person, what did you live? Mm. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Et c'est ça que j'ai compris. And that's why we need love. We need the love of God. Especially as Christian, because there's people that are not perfect. They have certain comportements that are not like we want them to be. But we need to have the love of Jesus to see the best in them, to be patient with them, and to love them. Vraiment to love them. Because there's a lot of people that need to be loved. And the love is the solution to all problems. Love people. Amen. That's good. That's good. Amen. Okay. One, thing I, one thing I was going to add. I mean, I was going to add, but Billy, he said it. He, he hit it on the dot. Oftentimes when you see men, women, whatever, burst out and violently have violent outbursts is because there's a problem that stems from the past. I feel like oftentimes it stems from childhood. Mm-hmm. For example, you have a, if you have a man, if you have a, if you have a, uh, if you have a man, oftentimes he's violent. Whenever he's mad, he lashes out, anger, he hits the wall, this and that, whatever. Look at his past. So ask him to look at his past. Ask him to look at his childhood. How did he grow up? You know, let's mm-hmm. say, for example, every time, um, every time he felt some type of way, he felt like crying, he felt emotion when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. Like Billy, the mom would say, the parents would say, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. So every single time he'd internalize it, he'd internalize it. Mm-hmm. Instead of letting his emotions out, he'd internalize it, he'd internalize it. Instead of, instead of letting it out as just <coughs> frustration, as just, uh, I'm, 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 I'm letting my emotions out now, he internalizes it. And then when he internalizes it, he continues and continues and continues until it just lashes out. Mm-hmm. And then that becomes a pattern. And if you do not address that from a young age, it continues and continues and continues and it never changes. So then you're going to get a Man who's just like a baby like you're gonna be like oh you're such a baby i mean the truth is this problem has been he's been there since he was a baby just never got addressed because of his right. out because of his upbringing because of the way he was brought up because of his surroundings his circle he was never able to express his emotions he was never able to be comfortable he never one thing as well he was never able to have a safe space you know what i'm um, saying because if you were to confess his emotions if you were to express his emotions why are you thinking like that? Why are you feeling? Why are you? Why are you a baby? Why are you? Why are you thinking like a girl? Why are you mm. emotional? You know, like be a man. You know, toughen, uh, toughen up. You know, when he doesn't have the safe space, once again, he keeps it all on the inside. 
bow, lash out, outburst, this and that, whatever. So oftentimes it stems from the past. Like Billy said, it's good to go to therapy. Therapy is good for sure. Do you also go to Jesus? I'm telling you, Jesus. I gotta got to say, yo, the Saint Esprit is the Esprit de Vérité. He's the Spirit of I Truth. Like Bill was saying, the spirit, Holy Spirit is wise. Why? Because He's the Spirit of Truth. He knows all truth, and the Bible says that He will guide you into all truth. So if you let the Holy Spirit have authority over your life, and you go to the Holy Spirit, He'll reveal these things to you, even when you don't even ask Him. If you live in complete submission to the Holy Spirit, yeah. He'll reveal these things to you. Even He could even reveal things to you through your dreams. You have a dream, but like in your dream. You're, you're, you're looking at, at your brother, at, 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 for example, your grandmother that used to live with when you, was, when, you, when you was a little child, and in the dream you have resentment towards this person. That's the Holy Spirit revealing to you that you have bitterness towards this person. Mm. You got to take care of it now. Mm-hmm. Therapy probably would have wouldn't never been able to show you that you had to forgive this person, but the Holy Spirit just revealed it to you because he's a spirit of truth. So mm. as you continue to let the Holy Spirit take control over your life, he will guide you into all truth. Mm-hmm. So go to therapy, but go to Jesus too, man. And That's the Holy good. Spirit. And when we become Christian, I love what she said, bro. Yeah, bro, that was really out. good. Shout out, man. Respect, my dear, respect. When you become a Christian, you have a new nature. Mm-hmm. You have Jesus living inside of you. And in beaucoup de gens, ce qui se passe, que we, 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 yes, we claim to be Christian, but we don't take our new nature in Christ. Mm-hmm. On s'identifie encore à un homme colérique. You are no longer, tu n'es plus un homme colérique. Mm-hmm. God has delivered you from that. Why? Jesus Christ gave you the capacity to have patience. Mm-hmm. You're a new man when you become, when you're in Jesus Christ, you're a new person. And les gens, if they want to move glory, from glory to glory, ils doivent prendre cette nouvelle identité-là dans la part de Dieu. Qu'est-ce que Jésus t'a dit? That's what mm-hmm. matters. What? Qu'est-ce que Jésus t'a dit, bro? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Mm-hmm. Who are you? What matters is, c'est qu'est-ce que Jésus te dit à toi? Mm-hmm. Qu'est-ce que Jésus te dit dans la part de Dieu concernant ta propre vie? That's what matters. No, it's, it's, si on veut vraiment oublier le passé, pas oublier le passé, mais si on veut passer de, du passé to the future, we need to prendre cet héritage-là qu'on a dans la parole de Dieu et prendre cette identité-là cette identité en Christ Jésus. And I think that you said, Jeremiah, too, um, was that, you know, when you spend time with the Holy Spirit, like, he will reveal things that you haven't dealt with. Mm. Um, that maybe mm, you don't feel it in the moment but maybe you see that person and oop, you remember unforgiveness you remember oh resentment or you remember certain things so um you know when you spend time with god he's gonna not only show you like the things that you haven't resolved yet but he will also show you what you need to pray about or the fact that you're able to overcome that mm-hmm. um so it's important to spend time with again holy spirit because you might not be spending time with Holy Spirit, but still mm. identifying with being a Christian, and mm. then not being able to fully get over the breakup, get over the this and that. Mm-hmm. And so you're wondering, well, I'm a Christian, but like I still have bitterness in my heart, like you said, or I still have certain things. Like Holy Spirit must not be working. Nah, you're not taking the time to spend time with Holy Spirit so mm-hmm. He can reveal those things to you, so you could be transformed. Exactly. If you don't allow Him to transform you, transform you in your um, one-on-one time with Him, then obviously you're going to be a Christian by name, but mm-hmm. not by transformation. Mm-hmm. And so it's so important to spend time with Holy Spirit so that that transformation happens. So like you said, mm-hmm. someone could take on that new identity. Exactly. You have a new name, you just don't know it yet. Yeah. So that new name, walk in that. And so yeah. 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 All right. Um, another question I had was, do men deny feeling, feeling their emotions? So, like, you probably would feel love, but you, you don't want to, you don't want to let that, you don't want to feel that emotion. Or you might feel angry, you, you don't want to feel that emotion. So, do men deny their feelings? Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. I love men deny their feelings. Je veux un exemple clair. Uh, un homme aime une femme. Et là, qui a son ami qui vient Do you like the girl Ou c'est, mais, L'homme là, qui a. Qui a, qui a, qui a <laughs> <laughs> le gars qui a dit, il commence à dire Mais non, mon chèque, non, j'aime pas la femme. But, in the back of his heart, he know that guy, that guy loved the woman. You know what I'm saying A lot of men deny the feeling just of pride. That's just crazy. pride, just pride. That's crazy because women are not like that. Ah, men are like that. A lot of men are not. Parce que je vois ce qu'ils ont peur de dire, mais mm. I think a lot of men deny the emotion. Par exemple, tu, le gars est en colère contre quelqu'un. Et là, le, ton, son ami va lui dire, est-ce qu'il est en colère contre ce gars-là? La personne va dire, mais non, mon cher, mais non. Mais tout d'un coup, mm-hmm. OK, the way he act with that person is just not the same. Yeah. Tu vois qu'il est en colère, le gars est en colère contre le gars. So I, I de- most definitely de- guys uh, deny their feelings. Okay. 
Okay. Most, def- most definitely, <laughs> most, <laughs> most definitely, bro. Yeah, yeah, sure. Men definitely do hide their emotions, like he okay. says, pride. I feel like it's our ego. We always yeah. try to put on this, um, this, 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 this facade of, yeah. like, I, I got everything straightened out. Everything I is cool. Shit. I ain't got no problems. I don't feel no type of way. I'm cool. I'm cooling. I'm chilling, right? Mm. But on reality, like, hey, but we're all human beings. We all have feelings, emotions. We all feel some type of way. But man, yeah, man. De- to answer the question, men definitely do hide their emotions. Okay, hide it, but do they? allow themselves to feel it though like to sit in it like you sit in your anger you just don't <laughs> process that you're just like not nah, like you internalize or yeah i feel like we, we, i feel like something we don't know how to we don't know how to feel we don't know how to feel these emotions right so okay. instead of sitting in those emotions be like and acknowledging okay i'm feeling angry right now mm-hmm. why this person did me this this is why i'm angry we're just gonna inter- we're just gonna sit we're gonna internalize it and we're just gonna I the act truth. out in our emotions. I follow the truth. After I'm gonna go to the weight room. <laughs> yeah. Play basketball. Puis ça va être back of our mind. But facts, facts. Mais on va pas avoir mal mind, tu vois. Mm. Quand tu te dis que les filles eux, vont être comme. Girl. Uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna process you it. Process yeah. it and yeah. cry yeah. about it and yeah. talk about it and talk about it. Nous, c'est comme. Yeah. Ouais, c'est passé ça. Moi, qui. Après ça, ok, on va faire un bail. It's like, hey, hey, come on, hey, uh, toujours, 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 toujours. That's so hey, real. Hey, you broke your heart, man. Come on, man. Let's come go on, to the come gym. Come on, man. Go hey. to the gym, boy. Hey, let's 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 hit some basketball, bro. <laughs> it's fini. Move on. Visual basket, like new, bro. Hilarious. That's so funny because. For me, I identify with someone who's very in tune with my... Well, I try to be anyways, and I'm very self-analytic. So I remember a friend was just like, don't date athletes. I'm like, why? Because, well, da 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 and you hear all these stories. Oh, my days. So it's interesting. <laughs> no, wait. It's interesting because it's like, oh, so <laughs> a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. A lot of pe- a lot of women believe that, like you know, just simply because of what you said, like because a lot of ath- well, a lot of pe- men don't deal with their emotions, sit in their emotions. Mm. It kind of goes with what you're saying. If a lot of men are just like, okay, I feel this way, let me go play basketball, mm. then you're not dealing with your emotions, you're avoiding sure. them. Sure. So it just it connects, it makes sense. Okay. So looking at at least athlete though, because because we have we have an avenue to navigate these emotions in. Mm. Like we we're feeling this emotion, bow of our basket. We're gonna so lash out this anger in basketball. So right. I'm gonna go to the weight room exactly. and all this this heart this this heartbreak I'm feeling. <laughs> football. <laughs> you know what I'm That's actually hilarious. Wait, like you oh, never uh, deal with them though. Like you just avoid it. You never yeah. deal with it. So okay, interesting. Yeah. This world is broken, man. Interesting. <laughs> so, she don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care about you. Keep working. Keep working. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so true too. Oh, oh man. man. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. My next question is: Do men know how to be gentle? Gentle. Do men practice gentleness? What does it mean to, to be gentle? Being gentle, just soft, and just I'm trying to find another way to say it. Like, you're not always like ah on a hundred. You're you're able to come down, be gentle, talk softly. You know, are men able to be gentle? just the fact that you don't know it just answers the question. <laughs> 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 to be honest. <laughs> Like, uh, uh, no, like, uh, uh, that answers the question. Accusations. Listen. <laughs> accusations. Listen, uh, you're showing your side. <laughs> I already could tell. Uh, I could already tell. Just like that? Just like oh, that. Man. Oh, man. For sure. For sure, I can be gentle. Can you be gentle? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> But no, I can be, I can be gentle. So, well, um, <laughs> she should contact that person and I'm gonna be gentle. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be gentle. What's your definition of gentleness? A do a comprehensive. Okay. Just talk, just be relaxed. Okay. You know, most of the time I'm relaxed. Most of the time? Yeah, after pr- if you make me up to pray, I'm really relaxed. Good, okay. I'm really chill, you know, chill. But si je vois que la femme est une femme qui est très relaxe, I'm gonna I'm relate to her. Her, her, vibe. Her, her, her vibe, her state. <laughs> If she comes, elle est vraiment très. Oh non non. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> bah je vais être très. Oh ma, ok d'accord. Mais c'est sûr que je vais être un peu plus euh, euh, parce que je suis comme ça. Mais right. mais yeah, for sure, man can be gentle, man. For 100%. Okay, okay. And most men, I'm asking. <coughs> most men? Yeah. Ah, oh, 100%. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really believe it. Okay. Most men have that, have that, you know, I'm saying that gentleness in them. I believe it 100%. They have it in them, but do they practice it? Do they allow it to come out? To their wife, yeah. To the, oh, okay, see, no, he can't do that <laughs> to their wives. Okay, but I'm talking about I'm like joking, joking, single joking. men. Single men? Yeah. Oh, for sure, 100%. I really believe it. Okay. Yeah. 
So can men be gentle? Yeah. Basically. And but do they gentle, practice like, gentleness? So I'm like, it's a Yeah, it's just, like, you, like I said, not always being on Like some, fight or flight mode, John. Yeah, like exactly. What? Fight or f- like being oh. like, aha, uh-huh. what's the word? Like, can't even explain it, man. Like just I'm a French guy, guys. On <laughs> on another like excitement or arrogant or just you're able to just be gentle. Like let's say I do something to you yeah. instead of being like, oh, why did you do this? Da, 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 are you able to be like, oh, Mary, why did you do this? Like I'm like I didn't mm. appreciate. It. Are you oh, able to be sure gentle? Man can be like that. Okay. One hundred percent. Yes, we can, but that is not. I feel like it's not every man that can do that. <laughs> why not? I feel like it's not every man. <laughs> this, yeah, not every man can do. That. I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of men cannot do that. Mm. Why? I feel like once again, you got to be in tune with your emotions, and to be in tune with your emotions, you just gotta you gotta know how to process your emotions. Like we we're saying, women often you guys process your emotions. I'm feeling right. this way, I'm feeling that way. Men will be like, ah, I feel this way. Mm. Go to the gym. Let me just let me do mm. something else. Let me right. occupy my mind with something else. But if you know how to process how you feel, then when this person comes to you, say so you tell me something instead of being like, hey, what's your problem? No, no, no. I start coming back at you. <coughs> like, okay, you're coming. You're, I can understand. You're coming. You're coming to me from that. I don't know what type of Space you're in, okay, mm-hmm. like, Amaya, why are you like this? Why are you act- mm-hmm. reacting like this? But it comes with being in tune with your emotions. And mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of men are not in tune with our emotions because we never really had safe spaces to express our emotions. We always internalize things. Mm-hmm. So we're always in this like fight or flight mode or always like high <laughs> high energy, like trying to match your energy instead of being yeah. calm and gentle. Yeah. But that fight, what does it mean by fighting? Uh, fly, fight or flight, well, like the word says fight. So mm-hmm. it's like you're always on fight and mode. Defensive. Yeah, and, defensive, uh, exactly, uh. too. So like, for example, kind of like what I just said, like mm. if, if I make you mad or whatever, mm. are you able to just communicate without matching my energy? Let's say I come uh. to you and I'm like, Billy, da 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 uh. da Are you going to come back and be like, Mary, da 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 Or are you going to be like, okay, uh. you're like this, but I'm going to respond like this. Mais les, les gens qui peuvent être gentle comme ça, c'est des gens qui sont guéris. Oh, that part, okay. That is really, mm-hmm. that's, that's kind of common to German. This is a guy who is in tune with emotion, that has self control, that is healed. To be okay. honest, it's a guy who is guerrier. It's really that. that. But I feel like, too, a lot of people forget like gentleness is a fruit of the spirit. Mm-hmm. And so, yes, it's important to know how to be gentle, especially mm-hmm. depending on the situation. Because just because someone sizes you up mm-hmm. and comes at you a certain type of way with a certain type of attitude doesn't mean mm-hmm. that you need to match their energy. Yes, I think that's something also society teaches. Like, mm-hmm. okay, if I am going to be coming to you with a certain energy, then mm-hmm. I'm going to reciprocate because you came to me like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's no, that's mm-hmm. not it. So, um, yeah, a lot of people forget that like gentleness is the fruit of the spirit. Another thing, too, is it's so important to practice gentleness because like I mentioned before, a lot of people aspire to be married. When you're married, you cannot <laughs> you cannot just always be on fight or flight mode mm-hmm. because that's not going to help your relationship. Mm-hmm. That's not going to help your marriage or else you guys are always going to be bickering, you know? Um, also, when if you aspire to have kids, you mm-hmm. need to be gentle with your kids. You're not always going to be like, oh, why did you do this with your kids? No, that's creating trauma within them. So it's important for people, men included, to practice gentleness and know how to be gentle. Oh. So, yeah. Pendant que tu parles de ça, je vais vraiment dire quelque chose au public. OK? Je suis vraiment, vraiment à cœur de dire ça. Women, men, les hommes et les femmes qui, qui m'écoutent, be patient for marriage. Mm. Moi, mes leaders m'ont dit ça. Be, be patient for marriage. Vraiment, as a man and as a woman, I think both gender need to work on themselves. Facts. Vraiment, et, et je trouve que dans la vie chrétienne, I think, ce que j'ai, ça c'est mon opinion à moi, c'est vraiment personnel, mm-hmm. mais j'ai remarqué que beaucoup de femmes chrétiennes, um, they're so focused on marriage that they forget to work about themselves. Thank you. They, they forget to work on themselves. Yeah. They're so focused on, okay, I want to be married. Yeah. But they're, they're, not, they're not prepared for marriage. They're mm-hmm. not ready for marriage. Mm-hmm. They're, ils sont juste pas prêts. Et beaucoup d'hommes aussi, bah, il y a beaucoup d'hommes qui aspirent au mariage, mais ils sont pas prêts. Mm-hmm. Ils ne sont pas responsables. Et moi, je, je, vraiment, je veux vraiment dire ce conseil-là, men and women, be patient. Especially as a young man and as a young woman, we need to be Asian and let the Holy Spirit work on us. Mm. Vraiment, 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 vraiment. C'est même prouvé scientifiquement que les jeunes qui se marient, c'est eux qui le divorcent le plus. Les jeunes qui se marient, because they don't, la plupart du temps, c'est que la personne qui le divorce, Laura, she said, uh, elle a dit que les gens qui, les jeunes qui se marient, souvent, qui, ils, so, ils savent pas où est-ce qu'ils sont rendus dans la vie. Yeah. Ils savent pas où est-ce qu'ils mm-hmm. vont. They're still fig- figuring out something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, il y a plein, tout ce stress-là, tout, plein, plein de choses comme ça. Et, Vraiment, we need to be careful. We need to be really patient and just 
let Jesus Christ work on us avant de vraiment d'aspirer à ce mariage-là. Mm -hmm. La parole dit dans 1 Corinthiens 7 que celui qui n'est ne pas marié, qu'il se dévoue aux choses de Dieu. Yeah. Il a dit que celui qui n'est pas marié, do not seek a wife. He said that in 1 Corinthians 7, do not seek a wife. Mm -hmm. Focus on Jesus. Same thing for women. Be a wife and, and a man will find you. Mm. Don't It's get true. me started. Be a wife. Okay. I'm telling you, be a wife. Peu importe ta beauté. I promise you. In I promise you, Jésus Christ m'entend. If you have the character that a, a godly man want, he will find you. Que tu sois dans une grotte à Saint-Hubert, que tu sois à Saint-Hyacinthe, a man of God will find you. Okay, we're going to enter the conversation of relationships. Just you want Okay. Yeah, come on. Go you, you want to go? Uh, you want to go? <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> I was going to say, la raison pourquoi il dit, soit une femme et un homme, et un homme va te trouver, c'est parce que la Bible dit, he doesn't find a wife. Does that mean he doesn't find a woman that is single, a wife? You got to be prepared. Yeah. And one thing about being patient, mm -hmm. to be patient, you got to appreciate your season of singleness. Hallelujah. If you do not appreciate that season, you're always you're not going to be able to be patient. Like, mm -hmm. the season you're in of singleness, do not be looking forward to, ah, who's my next partner going to be? When is, my ah. when is my future wife, when is my future husband going to come? Nah, appreciate the season you're in being single with the Lord. You mm -hmm. feel me? Spend time in the secret place with the Lord God Almighty. Because when you, when, you when you get with your significant other, you're not going to have all this time to work on yourself. That That's why you got to be prepared. But to be prepared, you got to be patient. And to be patient, you got to appreciate your season <laughs> of singleness. Mm -hmm. I actually like that you went first um, because that's something that Holy Spirit actually showed me in the beginning of the year mm -hmm. is that so many people aspire to marriage mm -hmm. but what do you do if you're ma when you're married like a lot of people think that life just ends at marriage and it's like okay you're married and then what <laughs> like you said a lot of people that enter <coughs> marriage they're searching after things and you think that marriage is going to um fulfill that void but mm. you that's not really what that's meant to do and so Ooh. you find yourself in marriage <laughs> And then you still have that void. And then you're looking towards your partner to fill that <laughs> void that is not meant to be filled by them. It's meant to be filled by whatever it is that Holy Spirit was trying to work mm. in you when you were single, but you avoided that because you were just like, oh mm. my gosh, I need the ring. Mm. And so a lot of people, like you said, need to prepare for marriage because if you're not prepared for marriage, you're mm. going to get into something, whether it's with someone you're meant to be with or not, mm -hmm. and you're still going to mess up a blessing because you don't know how to sustain the blessing. Mm. So, yeah. J'aime trop ce que tu as dit. I love what you said. Et je vais vraiment dire juste un petit commentaire sur ce que tu as dit. Mm -hmm. Les femmes les plus, les plus attirantes, c'est elles, c'est les femmes qui sont heureuses sans un homme. They are the women the most attractive to me. C'est vraiment les femmes qui, qui sont vraiment heureuses and they don't have a man. Vraiment là. Qui sont vraiment heureuses by themselves. With Jesus. Ça là, c'est so beautiful. Et c'est souvent dans, les, dans, ces, dans ces, 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 souvent ces femmes-là qui trouvent un mari. I don't know how. Brilliant. <laughs> une, une femme qui est trop désespérée au mariage mm -hmm. for us is a turn off explain <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you hey, explain to me bro explain, explain the people want to wanna know explain to, explain to me bro the people want to know so I mean, I mean one of these if a woman is seeking so hard for a marriage <clears throat> for a future husband it just for, to me that shows me And she's waiting for this husband, she's waiting for this marriage to fulfill her. You know, so that means mm -hmm. she is not fulfilled in Christ. That means she's not complete in Christ. She's not found her full identity in Christ. That means she has not done the self-work needed to Oof. be complete, to be to be a wife, to be the woman that God is calling her to be, so then she can go into marriage. If she's looking so much for that marriage, it might be because you're looking for this marriage to fulfill, to complete you, mm -hmm. to fill this void. Now, fill that void first. Like, take care of yourself first with Christ, with the Holy Spirit, you feel me? <coughs> Now, when I pray for my future wife, I pray like, hey, I pray the Holy Spirit, you, you are her only desire right now. I pray that mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is the only thing she wants. I pray that mm -hmm. what she devours is not the world, not relationship, <clears throat> but it's the Bible. You feel right. me? Yeah. When she does all of that, she fulfills herself in Christ. Yeah. La, I'm be like, okay, this is a woman that I can get with because she, she's not looking to She's not looking for a, a, the opposite sex. She's not looking sure. for attraction. She's not looking for relationship sure. to fulfill her. Yeah. She's already fulfilled in sure. Christ. Wow. That was good. good. So good. <laughs> that was actually good. But it's so true because like, you know, it's important to be fulfilled with Christ because mm -hmm. marriage is a lot first of all 100%. and you know 
it's there's gonna be up and downs in that marriage. You need to know how to you need to know how to pray. Mm-hmm. You need to know who God is. You need to know, <laughs> you know, to be able to go in a uh, in in spiritual battle for your husband and mm-hmm. for your family. If you don't know how to do that, you're struggling to do that for your own self while you're single, baby. What do you think you're gonna do when you're in a, in a wedding in a marriage? Come on, man. You know, so it's super. I don't know how we got into this topic. We gotta talk about that. We gotta talk about that because yeah, because a lot of men. Uh, Men and women, a lot of souvent ce qui se passe, c'est que à cause qu'on est, on n'est pas fulfilled, on a toujours un potentiel. Ok, maybe mm-hmm. it's my husband. Oh, he's mad at me. Maybe it's my husband. Yeah. Oh, he talks me, he texts me. Maybe it's my husband. Right. <laughs> my, uh, relax, my sister. Relax, my man. Yeah. Relax, bro. <coughs> and you talk about spiritual warfare, mm-hmm. bro. Mares, bro. You, yo, man, you need to pray. <laughs> you need to pray. Moi, je pense que tous les hommes, c'est des intercesseurs. Ils doivent être des intercesseurs pour leur famille. Vraiment. Ils doivent être des hommes de prière. Ils doivent être des hommes qui peuvent warfare dans l'esprit. Là, je ne suis pas très spirituel, mais ils doivent être des hommes de prière. La parole dit dans Luc 18, il dit « Men, les hommes doivent toujours prier et ne point se relâcher. »« Men ont toujours to prier et ne pas to faire. »« If you're a man, you need to pray. Mm. »« If you're going to be a man, you're supposed to be a man of prayer. » And something you said, um, news flash for anybody just because someone goes to church mm. does not mean that they're your husband or wife. Because you could be a church goer, but you don't know Jesus. Mm. You could be a church goer, but you're lost. You could be a church goer. <laughs> we know, we know, we know. You know, so just because the person is a Christian or a church so. goer doesn't mean that that's your mm. husband. Like, I think that a lot of, like, a mistake that a lot of Christians do is that just because like I said, the person goes to church, it's like, okay, well, that's my husband. Hey. But then you meet, other, like, there's going to be other Christian guys or girls. Like, that doesn't mean that particular person is your husband. So, yeah. Marriage has, has a lot to do with destiny. Mm. Destiny. You cannot be in ministry <coughs> and you have a wife that is, like, completely opposite. Mm. Like, and literally, like, I don't know how borderline. To the, like you're inequally yoke, you mm-hmm. know. C'est moi je pense que vraiment que le mariage a beaucoup à part que le destiné, you know. I think marriage is like moi par exemple dans mon église, dans mon église, tous les pasteurs sont mariés mm-hmm. et tous les, les tous les pasteurs et leurs femmes font du ministère ensemble. It's beautiful. Et, 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 it's beautiful and and you see, and you see the power of marriage in ministry. Mm-hmm. So vraiment moi je vraiment comme tu as dit comme c'est pas parce que le gars est chrétien ou va au church que maybe can be you potentially lose ben ça vraiment rapport avec la destinée you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so yeah watch the musicians like they say <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch the, the musicians <laughs> real quick what he said about marriage being about destiny i feel the yeah. same thing too like when it comes to your future spouse marriage mm-hmm. all this type of stuff mm-hmm. You gotta let. You just gotta let God orchestrate all of it because God is Man, orchestrating exactly. something in the mix. Like He has, you know, the Bible says He has thoughts of of <coughs> peace, not of evil. You know, to bring us hope in the future, to bring us an expected end. You yeah. know, so God, He has plans for us to prosper. He's avant qu'il nous connaissait, il a déjà il a déjà formé des plans pour nous. Tu comprends? So we gotta let just let God orchestrate all of it. When I say let God orchestrate all, of it, I'm not saying just sit down. You you, you wait. You guys gonna bring your wife to your lap. Mm-hmm. Now you gotta be. For me, the key is being spirit led. Mm-hmm. Instead of being led by your emotions, instead of being led by your feelings, by your soul. Your Souls, everything that you feel, your emotions, all that type of stuff, your flesh. You gotta right. be led by the spirit. You gotta be mm-hmm. led by the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit will lead you to the right person <coughs> at the right yeah. time. Yeah. Amen. And two things I will say actually to what you just said. The first thing is being prepared, like we mentioned before. Just because like it's one thing to want something, another thing to not be prepared for it. Mm-hmm. Because you could want rain to ha- to fall right but if you don't have a cup to to put the rain in when it does rain then what what is the point you know mm-hmm. and so we need to get like our baskets spiritual baskets mm-hmm. ready f- to prepare for the blessing when it comes or else you're just gonna get it and then what you know mm-hmm. the other thing i was gonna say it's so important to wait like so important and not wait within your timeline Sorry wait within God's timeline because mm-hmm. you might be like, okay, I'm able to wait, but like past the year, God, like me and you gonna have problems. <laughs> like, no, nah, that's not you actually waiting. So it's really important for us to learn how to wait. The other thing is, my question is for anybody who's single and waiting, what if God's will for your life is for you not to be in a relationship or not to be married? Are you going to be content with that? Because the goal at the end of the day is for you to be content with Christ. And if relationships for you is going to be a distraction for your whole life, 
then it's best for you to figure that out now than to, you know, work, you know, navigate life expecting for something, praying for something, being distracted because you're so focused on relationships. But like that was never the will of God for your life. Right. So not saying it's not for anybody, but it can definitely be or maybe God's will is for you to get married at 40, 50. Are you going to be content with that? Are you going to be OK with that? Because truth of the matter is relationships are a lot and it can it can, not all the time, but it can uh, shift your focus off of like the mission that God has for you to do. And maybe God's like, you will fulfill your mission being single for the next 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. And then when you've done what I asked you to do, what I've placed you on this earth to do, then I'll allow you to get married. But if not, then you're just going to be searching again for something that I'm, it's not going to happen yet. So chill, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Come on. Preach, man. You preach it. Hey, preach her. Drop the gym. Preach her. <laughs> That's a preacher. All uh, right. So, okay. THD? Is that PhD? <laughs> THD? THD? Oh, oh, uh, yes. THD? Teach, teach B. Uh, THB. Theology degree. But mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Was that it? Did you guys want to add more into relationships? That was an that was unplanned, by the way. Yeah, c'est ça. C'est très important, guys. Et vraiment, je vous conseille, les jeunes là, les jeunes là, j'ai l'air de grand-père, je sais pas pourquoi. Yeah. <laughs> vraiment, les jeunes là, vraiment, have leadership. Mm. Have leadership that can teach you about marriage, bro. You know, et souvent, ce qui se passe, c'est que, tu vois, ce que j'ai remarqué dans l'église, ok, souvent dans la jeunesse, beaucoup de gens qui font des relations euh, en cachette. <rire> oh, I have a boyfriend, but... As, you have no... T'as aucune accountability. Comment on dit ça? Accountability. Yeah. Yeah. You have no accountability. Tu te rends compte à personne. You have no leader, no body. Personne oh, sait que t'es en oui. relation. <coughs> après, coup de coup, t'entends euh, cinq mois après, « Oh, I slept with him. »« Oh, I slept with him. Yeah. » Non. Guys, if you, if you really want to... Si tu veux vraiment marcher dans la chaise de Dieu, si tu veux vraiment évoluer, Dieu a mis en place « leaders ». Mm -hmm. Une qui peut t'enseigner par rapport à ces choses-là. C'est vraiment, je vous conseille, guys, have a mentor, have somebody that can help you concerning that area of mm -hmm. relationship. Si tu mets en relation avec quelqu'un, euh, euh, et vraiment, ask your leaders, OK, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm talking to that girl, you know what I'm saying, let the, let the, laisse tes leaders aussi te donner de la sagesse des conseils par rapport à euh, ta relation actuelle. Mm -hmm. Tu vois, et je vous That's dis, good. and talk to your parents. That's good. I gotta say it. Talk to your parents. Moi, que je, dernièrement, j'ai parlé à mon père pendant deux heures. Là. I speak to my father for two hours. And I was like, yo, dad, you know what I'm saying? And he spoke to, <laughs> <laughs> and he spoke to me. He gave me such a mm. wise counsel. I was like, I didn't think about it, dad. Yeah. You know, so much of the conseil, vraiment, talk to your leaders and <coughs> talk to your parents. Yeah. If you're comfortable. If you feel that, but you know, but it's vraiment ça. Just vraiment c'est quelqu'un de de dire ça. Okay, last thing I would really say this time is about what you said. Talk, yeah. Talking to your parents is so important. I feel like that's something I definitely. Well, I did it, but it's kind of different for me. But mm. I definitely did it, but I didn't fully do it. So I mm. definitely wish I did mm. because there's a lot of wisdom mm. with your parents. It's not just oh I don't want you to not be so, with anybody. Like there's actually a lot of wisdom. And uh, with that being said, there's something specifically about self-control. Like we were talking about, you know, working on things in our single season. Mm. And I would say for men, I, don't, like, I mean both genders, but working on self-control in your single season is so important. Mm. And I feel like people don't realize that because they just don't mm. but when you go into a marriage if you don't have self-control now mm. what do you think is going to happen in your marriage hey. right you bring those you bring that baggage in your marriage and so when you're not able to have self-control in your single season and then you're not able to have self-control in your marriage that's gonna lead to a lot of issues so. you find you know things like cheating or mm -hmm. you know being deceptive this, mm -hmm. like being deceitful and all that stuff so yeah, those type of things, like when you don't deal with them right away or when you don't have accountability yeah. to help you realize, oh, wait, I do struggle in this area. Mm -hmm. Like you will struggle and you will bring that into the next season. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Can I have one last Last, la last, last, last. Last, last. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to add after him. Last, I, last, 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 last. Okay. Guys, <laughs> if you're waiting for marriage, live in purity. Facts. Live in Absence. purity. Live in your holiness. Yeah. You know, do not seek marriage if you should if you're still struggling with masturbation and pornography. Mm. Because you're gonna bring that into your marriage. Yeah. And you're gonna destroy your marriage. Yeah. I believe that every man and woman that want to get into marriage, they need to live they need to live a, a, a holy life. Mm -hmm. Des vies qui sont pures, mm -hmm. qui sont dans la sainteté. Mm. No fornication, 
Mm. No pornography, mm. no masturbation. Mm. I say it loud. Yeah. Live a pure life before the Lord and before men, and be honest with yourself. Yeah. Before even seeking your ma- seeking your wife or seeking a husband, live a pure life. It's so 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 important. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of people they want marriage. I want to marry. I want a husband. I want a wife. But you're still living in pornography. Mm-hmm. You're deceiving yourself. You're gonna mm. kill your marriage, bro. Mm. Because they think that marriage is a solution yeah. to them stopping to you know. You know. There's, there's a man that uh, so no s'appelle Terry Crews. Yeah, he was struggling with pornography. Yeah, he almost destroyed his marriage. You know what I'm saying? So many men were struggling with pornography and they destroyed their marriage because yeah. their woman cannot uh, bring that sati- satisfaction. So they were going to pornography. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? After that, it lead to cheating. Oh, I want to try another wife, another, another, another woman. Mm-hmm. Live a pure life, a self-controlled life. Purity. <coughs> I say it really loud. I'm, I'm not scared to say it. Billy just talked about self-control. And mm-hmm. I remember before we started talking about um, marriage and relationships, all that type of stuff, we were talking about gentleness, right? And you're yeah. saying how it's the fruits of the spirit. So when so we're coming back to fruits of the spirit, gentleness, fruits of the spirit, uh, self-control is the fruits of the spirit. So once got all these things we're talking about, whether it's the he motions, you feel me? Like a man <laughs> being in tune with his emotions, being yeah. gentle, whether it's waiting in self-control, tout ça se fait avec la parler du Saint-Esprit. Mm, all of this is done with amen. the grace and the help of the Holy Spirit. So if you ain't got the Holy Spirit, if he, you don't know, you know, you do have, if you're a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit. But if you don't give him the authority of your life, if you don't invite him in, all of this will be impossible. It will, it will seem like it's impossible. It will seem like, Lord, I'm saved. I'm trying to, I'm trying to overcome this and that. But how come I'm not able to? It's because you're not giving authority to the Holy Spirit. Mm. You're not fully submitted to the Holy Spirit. You're not spending time in communion with the Holy Spirit. So once you start doing that, the Holy Spirit starts to reveal to you things because He's the Spirit of Truth. Not yeah. only that, He starts to transform you from glory to glory because that's His role too, into the image of Christ. Not only that, He also He also starts to bear the fruits of the Spirit that He gives so. you. And once you bear these fruits of the Spirit, man, the Bible says, "Oh, taste and see that the Lord oh, is good." good. Yo, mm. vous allez voir que la vie chrétienne là, on n'est pas en train de dire que c'est super facile. It's gonna be, mm-hmm. it's gonna be so. walking apart, but. It, it tastes good, man. You feel Hallelujah. me? It tastes good man. and it gets sweeter and sweeter every single day. Yeah. So, man, if you haven't tried Jesus out, I'm telling you, try Jesus out. Try, try Jesus, Jesus out. Try the Holy Spirit, God the Father, the whole, the kitla. I'm telling Hallelujah. you, it's going to be sweeter and sweeter and sweeter try than it was Jesus. before. So, yeah. try Jesus out. I'm telling you, you will, you will not be you will not be disappointed. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I think that's where we could end. Um, no, that was really good because, like <laughs> I said, that was like unplanned, unplanned questions. But yeah, so I'm gonna ask Billy to close us out okay. in a word of prayer, and then we'll end there. Père, merci Seigneur pour ce podcast. Merci Seigneur pour les gens que tu vas toucher, les gens que tu vas fortifier, les gens qui seront vraiment informés, Père, par, par ta sagesse. Seigneur, je bénis la vie de Amar et je bénis la vie de Jerma. Father, I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over them and vraiment. Um, Demeure avec nous, Seigneur, en Jésus-Christ, que j'ai prié. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this blessed you. And uh, keep watching and keep tuned for the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>